People are always looking to get to places or do things faster. The railway is no different. Train companies want to run trains to get their passengers to their destinations as quickly as possible. There are a number of ways to do this, such as not stopping at smaller stations en route. But as track engineers, the question you may be asked is, can we increase the line speed? The ability to increase the line speed, or line speed enhancement, depends on a number of factors. These include assessing whether the track is in good enough condition to allow the increased speeds, and therefore forces. Whether key track components such as switches are suitable for the new proposed speeds, and if the track geometry will allow the increased speeds without causing a safety or passenger comfort risk. When it comes to geometry, the main area is the curves, and if they are suitable for the increased speeds. So let's look at how you determine the maximum speed that can be done on a curve in its current form. The speed on a curve is linked to both the curve radius and the cant through the equation to calculate equilibrium cant. This equation can be rearranged to make speed the variable we're solving for. Let's call this V max. The equation in its current form includes the equilibrium cant, EQ, whereas we need to use the cant value currently on the track, which will be the applied cant, EA. The applied cant plus the cant deficiency, D, equals the equilibrium cant. So we can sub this into our equation. But what do we use for the cant deficiency value? Well, given we are looking, at least initially, at increasing the speed, but making no changes to the current track, we'll use the maximum cant deficiency value allowed by the standard. Let's call this D max. In the UK, the maximum cant deficiency is determined by the construction type of the track. So be sure to check this and then refer to the standard. Using this formula, remembering that this equation gives speed in kilometres per hour, the maximum speed for a curve can be found. But this is not the end of the work to be done. The transitions either side of the curve that build up and remove both cant and radius between the adjacent curves or straight track need to be reviewed to ensure they are suitable. The key thing to check, given we have maximised the cant deficiency in this equation, will be the rate of change of cant deficiency. For more on transitions, please do check out my great video on the subject, linked in the top right hand corner now and in the description below. So there we have a quick guide on how to check how fast a train can travel around a curve safely. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to know more about railway engineering, a great place to start is with my Track Components Guide ebook that is available at the link in the description below. If you want a little added extra, by signing up to our email list at the link below, you'll get our free Guide to Cant ebook straight into your email inbox. Do drop any comments or queries below, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss a single video. Thank you.